Okay, so um, I'm an actor. How many people here are actors? Let me see, raise your hands. Cool. How many people have been acting for at least a year? Raise your hand. <laughs> how many people have been acting for five years? Raise your hand. How many actors have been, raised, uh, how many actors have been acting for 10 years? Raise your hand. Ooh, 10 years, okay, okay. 15? 20? <laughs> Myself. One of my first films, now this isn't including playing pretend as a child or playing Dungeons and Dragons, <laughs> believe me, it's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of schooling involved there. Uh, since 1998, when I first took a job as an extra for an Eddie Murphy movie. So it was just an extra role, but the important thing was, it taught me, it's like, oh, you can actually get paid for this. This is a real thing, right? So I'm going to do a real quick, hopefully 10 minutes acting seminar in 10 minutes, okay? It's almost like an improv thing, right? How, how can you do this in 10 minutes? I decided to get away from the PowerPoints, that's so 2000. So I went with an easel, <laughs> a newspaper, anyone can act. And that's part of the concept here at Actors Cultural Theater. The uh, county lets us use this room, which is the Baja Writers Room. This is my fourth grant with the county. I've done uh, Wicked Shakespeare. No, it wasn't Wicked Shakespeare. It was Steve by Frankenstein. I did two Conquistador seminars. Larry was involved in one of those. It was Wicked Shakespeare, but it was, I don't think it was part of the grant, though. But this is my fourth grant, which gave us this space. So we use this space to plan, to produce, to practice, all these things. I can't do this in my one bedroom apartment. I can't. But thanks to the space, we can do all of this. Act, part of our concept is anyone can act, they just usually need some proper direction, is what it is. Anyone can act, and films need all kinds of people. Now, I'm not saying everyone acts well, everyone can do it. Get some direction. <laughs> <laughs> love the art. If you're going to be doing this, you paint paintings because you love to paint paintings. It's not because I'm going to get rich, I'm going to get famous. That's not why you do this. Love the art. Look at this mess. <laughs> I read an article that said there is no Meisner system, there is no uh, uh, Strasbourg system, there is no Adler. It's all Stanislavski, and it's all about emotional memory. You guys have heard of the method? Right. The method is all about emotional memory. There was a division, there was a schism. Adler went one direction, and Strasbourg went another. But at the end of the day, it's still Stanislavski. So Adler might use something. I'm going to compact all of their acting philosophy in two words. Uh, Adler focused on sensory imagination. Imagining you're there, imagining you can uh, smell those smells, taste those tastes. Sanford believed in truthful living. Is the performance truthful? Do you believe it? It's that simple. If I see you doing something, like, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. We gotta do it again. Strasburg also worked on something called sense memory or effective memory. Okay, so there's that big schism. The truth of the matter is, you use whatever tool in your toolbox that works best for you. So let me give you two examples. When I was on stage with Larry playing Dr. Frankenstein and he was the monster, don't, if I get choked up, I'm sorry, I'm a method actor. If I get choked up, I say to Larry, I say to him, you kill my friends! The Lord is good. <laughs> I will destroy you. <laughs> so Larry was the monster. But when I said you killed my friends, I didn't think of Larry killing my friends. I thought of cancer. I thought of cancer killing the people I loved. That is Stanislavski. That's emotional memory, because I'm thinking of real shit that happened. Okay? The difference is using imagination is when I was reading one of the Punisher's uh, monologues from the Netflix series. And he goes in how his daughter gets killed. Well, I lose it. I lose it when he's talking about his daughter getting killed. Do I have a daughter that died? No. No. And that's something that I relate to something called empathy that we'll get into a little bit more. From Meisner, living truthfully. What is acting? Living truthfully in imaginary circumstances. And again, is it true? Is it believable? That's simple. Which is why anybody can be an acting critic. Anybody, you don't have to be an expert. A, a viewer at home can say, I don't believe that. You ever see like a relationship on TV you don't believe? 
I saw that Aquaman thing. I didn't believe the relationship between him and the red, red-headed chick. I did not believe that. It was sophomoric, juvenile. <laughs> Training and learning by doing. Here at ACT, we do learning by doing, teaching by directing. That's one of the best ways to learn how to act. Do it. Okay? That being said, you do, you should get training. I've got several classes in South Florida. One, two, three, four, five, a bunch of different classes. One at Broward College, for God's sakes. So train with different people to build that toolbox so you know maybe when you're going to use emotional memory or you're going to use sensory imagination. Use the op- actions and opposite actions. So guys, every line, possibly every word could have its own action. What do I mean by an action? I mean a verb, an ing verb, a doing verb. When you're giving dialogue to some, someone, giving dialogue, or we're working together, I'm always trying to do something to her. When I say something, I'm either doing something to her or somehow elevating myself in some way, or maybe even diminishing myself. Those are two verbs I just gave you to. To elevate. My, that shirt is wonderful. This is the greatest shirt ever. You, you are a good man for wearing that shirt. That shirt, not so much. I'm not feeling it. I mean, really, what's going on? It's just, just, it's black. <laughs> I'm diminishing. I'm diminishing. Take action in given circumstances. This is another quote. I think that's from Adler. I'm not sure. So that's what acting is about. It's taking action in the given circumstance. Don't question the circumstance. The writer wrote it for a reason. Scoring a script, changes in beats and actions. Guys, do you have any comments or anything or, or, or questions? We're going to hit this at the end. Scoring a script. So when you get your script for the 40-hour film festival, one of the things you can do, you can score it and make notes of the di- different beats, the changes in beats, changes in the ING verbs. What are you doing on this line? What are you doing in the next line? It's something real easy you can do. Some people can't remember lines, but they can remember the action. And then the action brings them back to the line. I'm a huge fan of flashcards because it's just like the vocabulary flashcards where you put the word on one side, on the other side is the definition. I put your cue on one side and I put my dialogue on the other. I don't like, once I get a script, I pretty much get rid of the script after I got it because why? I copied it all the flashcards where each line, each dialogue line is on a separate physical line. So I can micro focus, micro study one line at a time. And so now and often you look at a script and it's like, oh my god, there's all these words and papers. <laughs> Little flashcard, there's the lines right there. All you have to do is focus on that. I'm not distracted by anything else. Character sheets. Something from D&D again. <laughs> character sheets means make a sheet for your character. What's his favorite color? What's her favorite food? What songs does she listen to? What's her type of music? All, where was she born? What were her parents like? What did they do? You can create a completely fictional background. I think it was the guy who played the bad guy in Black Panther. What's his name? Michael B. Jordan. Michael B. Jordan had a full notebook <laughs> on the background of his character. So when he was sitting on the sides in his little cloth chair with his name on the back of it, he was always able to go through and remind himself who he was. Character sheets. Okay, instinctual responses, that's kind of a little bit of my spirit, kind of a little bit of me. That means when you're on the set and you're co-star is acting with you, how are you responding to what they're saying? Respond instinctually. Don't respond like, what's my line, what's my line? <laughs> my line. <laughs> listen to them, listen, listen, listen to them. That's a lot, Meister does a lot of listening exercises. And of course, living in the moment. That means forgetting everything else. Don't be self-aware. Don't be aware of the camera or the crew or everyone else. Live in that moment of the scene. <clears throat> Another one of mine is empathy in action. Okay, I think, I don't know if psychopaths can be actors. That was my question. I've I've come to the conclusion I'm not a psychopath. Because I have empathy for others. So the scene I did where I'm reading the Punisher's monologue about his daughter getting shot to death, that's having empathy for someone else. And there's two different kinds of empathy. There's cognitive, which is understanding someone's other, someone else's feelings and emotions, and affective, which means not only do I understand your emotions, I'm feeling them with you. You Surely you felt someone's uh, grandmother dies, pet dies. Don't you feel it with them at times? Unless you're a psychopath. <laughs> so if you don't have feelings, 
Maybe this, maybe we should go into government. <laughs> Other quick stuff for you guys that are new to the business. Get your, get your headshots. Make a resume, even if it's high school theater or some sort of talent like juggling or, or uh, I can fart the national anthem, whatever it is. <laughs> Get a reel. So this is the other good thing about the 48-hour film festival. You can start to build your reel. You want clips of yourself doing stuff. Clips of yourself doing stuff that you'll compile into a greatest hits video. And you'll get it in two days where a lot of other independent projects. Absolutely. People are probably still waiting for their I, I, I never, you know, I did a Hess commercial. I did a Bud Light, McDonald's, and Hess. And I don't have any evidence of that. <laughs> Not even the money, because I spent that, right? <laughs> um, if you are an actor and you are propelling yourself in the business, use the social media. Network at events like this. This is a real thing. Networking is a real thing. Collaborate with other artists. This is what the 48-hour film festival is about. Collaborating. And most importantly, another thing we do in ACT is self-start and create. Where are my ACT actors here? Raise your hand if you're from ACT. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, my guys, this is my team. So we've got two shorts, we got one out already called Heroes of Sixth Street, which is about a family of African-American superheroes. We've got one called Adam Steam, that's steampunk. We've done stage together, and again, part of the concept is, is to learn by doing, and self-start and create. And the last thing I have to say is, anyone can act. <laughs> Thank you so much for that, Ed. And yeah, bad acting will kill your films. Just <laughs>